Hello, everyone. Riley Coons here from Black Diamond Mortgage. We are back with our series on our home ownership stories. And today we have Kate Lopez from Keller Williams. Yes, ma'am. And Kate's here today and she's going to tell us a little bit about her home ownership story and how she got into her first home. And her and I were chatting a little bit about that before we got started here. And Kate, you bought your first home in 2018, correct? Yes, ma'am. And it was so first time home buyer. Yes. And you, you were saying that it was like a really smooth transaction. It really was. I, um, the timing on it was uh, invaluable. So we decided to buy in the winter uh, when things were quiet. Um, I, at the time, I didn't realize how important that was. But we also were did it during tax season so that we were able to kind of use our um, tax returns to incorporate that. I also um, was just coming off of maternity leave. So I had gotten a short-term disability check from Affleck which really, really helped with that down payment. Mm -hmm. So you kind of pulled all those funds together. Pulled it together so we could do our down payment. Um, It also gave us a little bit of a buffer to accommodate for putting in a fence or any sort of other things the home might have needed. Yeah, awesome. And then you were saying with that smooth transaction, it kind of helped that it was tax season Mm because it's the season that we're in right now. Absolutely. That you already had like all these documents together. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of just able to like hand it right over to your lender so you guys could work on pre-approval. Yes, she was delightful. Um, And so I didn't have to track down the W-2s or the bank statements Mm -hmm. or that sort of thing uh, because they were already put together. Yeah, makes it super simple. So those of you during tax season right now, keep that in mind. So with all of that, you, what kind of loan did you do and what, um, what was this home that you got into? What your first home? Um, so we, we did an FHA loan, uh, at the time I had no idea what that meant. I just knew that it was a smaller (laughs) down payment, uh, better interest rates. Um, what was really great is I relied very heavily on my lender to kind of tell me what I was doing, um, when you are new, you don't know what you're doing. And so that relationship with your lender was super important. And she would be like, all right, I need this, this, and this. And be like, okay, I could do that. Uh, (laughs) So we did, we did an FHA loan. Um, We were both gainfully employed. I was working full time. He was working full time. And we got all our documents. We did a really fast close. Uh, At the time she said that we needed to lock in an interest rate uh, if we could do it in X amount of days. And I think it saved us like half a point by doing it that way. I think we had like a 28 day close. Nice. Okay. (laughs) So this was your first home. Dream home? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, it, but it works really well for the baby. Uh, baby was only four months old at the time. And now it's, you know, he's close to me. We've brought in a home, another baby. I've got dogs that get mud all over the floors and you know, the carpet is disgusting and I want to pull it out, but <laughs> it doesn't matter because I can have my kids in the house and I, they're little, so I can't have nice things right now. Yeah. And you were saying that like, this wasn't the dream home, but the property that you bought was worth it. For yeah, you. absolutely. So our location, we are about 10 minutes just, uh, west of the bypass on highway two. Uh, we've got an acre, uh, I was able to fence it. And so I have a huge yard for my dogs. I put in a garden, uh, I like having a dirt road. It was great. There was one day I was going for a walk and some girl just comes running out. She's like, hey, you have a baby. I have a baby. And then we were best friends. Let's be friends. And let's be friends. And so like the country setting is kind of what I wanted and same with him, but we're only 10 minutes from town. Yeah. So even though it wasn't the dream home, like you got this property that was the lifestyle that you wanted to live. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the chickens are in the works. uh, Bunnies are in the works. I could have another dog if I want. Um, Yeah. So I don't have to ask permission to to have the lifestyle that yeah. I want. Were there some changes that you had to make to the home once you got oh, into it? This is one of my favorite stories. So when I moved in, um, the owners, bless their hearts, had painted their house colors, colors that nobody wants. Um, <laughs> specifically my master bedroom. Uh, it was the most abysmal mint green I had ever seen, including the ceiling. So hot tip, never paint the ceilings colors. White folks, we just <laughs> need it to be white. Um, it was to the point where my mom actually thought I was sick because of the reflection. Like the green- Green the, the <laughs> green. So uh, we still laugh about that. That took about three coats of paint to fix. But yeah, it's, oh man. <laughs> uh, baby's room was Pepto-Bismol pink. And then my office was 
a blue that I'd never seen before. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we had to make some changes. Yeah, we little, had to make little changes. Yeah. Little changes. Um, the biggest thing was living in it for a little bit so that I could figure out how it worked for me. It did take a while for it to start to feel yeah. like my home. Um, and now it's one of my favorite places to be. That's awesome. So buying this home in 2018... Where are you now? I'm at like, pre- like, you no know, values have gone up of homes. So what position is it putting uh, you in? Without an unbiased opinion, uh, <laughs> just for, we've had it appraised a couple of times, but just recently in October, um, it's doubled, nearly tripled. So probably two and a half times. So we purchased a 275 in 2018 and it just appraised for 627. Yeah. And I'm sure you were scared buying your first home. Like everyone's scared. You know, it's a huge investment. Uh, I had never had anything permanent before like that. And I'm I'm so glad. But and how has it set you up now? Um, absolutely. So we've had some changes. Uh, I know that the, uh, you know, he's changed jobs a couple of times. I, with COVID, you know, that was the biggest thing is that COVID gave us a little bit of security. We weren't concerned about our rentals changing. Um, I ended up ending becoming unemployed. Um, nobody needed the travel agent during right. COVID. Um, and then I was also, I got into real estate. So having a home that has stayed consistent, uh, we were able to refinance uh, end of 21 and that we purchased our car so we had to have a car payment. Uh, we did a little cash out refinance so that we could pay off some of our debt. And ultimately, it's made sure that we've stayed stable during a pretty turbulent time. That's awesome. It's amazing that owning a home, even though it's scary and a huge investment, actually ends up setting, ends up setting you up for being more secure when Absolutely. things are... Not. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially when it's not, it's not even the perfect home for me. And that's okay because for my lifestyle right now with the two little ones, they can go outside, they can go play. The dogs are in and out. Now I have cats. It's, it's a whole menagerie. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much Absolutely. for coming and sharing your story with us. Mm-hmm. And again, Kate Lopez from Keller Williams. And thanks for joining us. Thank you.